वेलकम गाइज वेलकम टू आवर थर्ड क्लास ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न द बेसिक ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस टू डू विल डू डिजन सेलर एंड गाइज यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू दिस प्ले लिस्ट इज वेल बिकॉज वी आर बेसिकली गोइंग थ्रू द एंटायर एरिथमेटिक विच इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन इन कैट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन सम वन सेज ऑब्वियसली and yes so today we will discuss about dishonest seller so this is the third part and in dishonest seller what we are going to learn what is dishonest seller first you need to understand dishonest seller is someone like let's say you are going to a mela right or something like uh, some a place but you are seeing like they are basically selling something which is less than mrp and you know the mrp is much higher than that but still they are selling less and you know even their cost price is also not the same by which they are selling so what they are basically doing they are basically using a trick so that you can see they are providing you with 1 kg but they actually are not providing you 1 kg they are providing you let's say 800 grams or 900 grams so what they are doing they are basically manipulating you while selling so they are basically using a weight balance or they are using a meter scale which is faulty which doesn't show the actual weight or actual length you understand me right so this is a concept of dishonest seller where you earn profit by like you know by manipulating the customer the by manipulating the other person so this is like the concept of dishonest seller so let me give you one simple example uh let's think about it like this way let's say uh, 1000 gram is basically i need to buy from someone right and let's say while selling 1000 gram uh dishonest seller use one weight balance which measures 900 gram as 1000 gram do you understand what i'm saying so while selling while selling a certain thing a dishonest seller uses a weight balance which shows 900 gram as 1000 gram and let's assume the cost price and the selling price both are same now my question is what is the profit percentage you understand me right so their cost by selling price is same so by price he is not making any profit so by how they are making profit they are basically giving us less so that's how they are making profit am i clear so when this kind of thing happens so in this case i can see 900 gram is basically being sold as 1000 gram now think about it so 1 rupee per gram is the price 1 rupee per gram is the price so the price for this is 900 the price for this is 1000 am i clear right so i'm basically my cost price is 900 my selling price is 1000 so what is my profit the profit percentage is 1000 minus 900 upon 900 into 100 am i clear so your answer is 11.11% so this is your profit percentage so uh, my profit is basically calculated on cost price which is 900 and 100 rupees profit i have made on cost price which is 900 So 100 upon 900 is 1 upon 9. 1 upon 9 is 11.11 percent. We have already learned this in percentage. How to convert fraction into percentage? So that's where you can solve this type of question. Now the next thing, which is also very important. Now let's say your cost price selling price is not same. Let's say your mark price is 10 percent more than your cost price. Your mark price is 10 percent more than your cost price. Am I clear? And you are selling it in your mark price. Let's say. So your selling price is also ten percent more than cost price. Am I clear? So that means, if that means if the selling price, like the selling price, and this thing is initially it was nine hundred and one thousand. Now it will be a difference. So because while I'm selling, I'm selling nine hundred gram as one thousand gram. Yes. Now the price of one thousand gram, the cost price of one thousand gram is one thousand. But my selling price is ten percent more than one thousand. So what is the selling price? Ten thousand. Plus ten percent of ten thousand. So my selling price has become eleven hundred. Am I clear? Why the selling price has become eleven hundred? Because the customer knows he is buying one thousand. Though he is getting nine hundred, the but the perception of customer is about one thousand. Cost price of one thousand is one thousand, and the selling price is ten percent more. So what is ten percent of one thousand? That is one hundred. So his selling price, his new selling price will be one thousand plus one hundred, which is eleven hundred. But the cost price doesn't make any difference. The cost price is same as nine hundred. So what is your profit? your profit is nothing but 200 upon 900 into 100 which is nothing but 22.22% am i clear so this is how we generally deal with this type of questions this is how we generally deal with questions which is based on the mark price the selling price this weighted balance uh, this is weighted uh, like weight balance or like dishonest selling type of questions and more importantly somewhere around we also can use successive to solve this type of questions which we will see in the some other videos not this so this is the concept i hope you have understood the concept so next we will start discussing some question based on 
this concept. So this is the question. We start with a street vendor marked up the price of 1 kg by 23% and he cheated his customer by 59%. Find his profit or loss percentage. Very important question. And we're using the similar kind of techniques to solve this type of question. Now think about it, how we solve this type of question. So the vendor marked up the price by 23%. That means if the price is 100, the cost price, the mark price is nothing but 123. That is the mark price, right? Because 23% more is 100 is increased to 123. And he cheated his customer by 59%. That means he is basically selling while selling and the customer see he is selling 100 but the customer is basically getting 100 minus 59 which is 41 right so the customer is getting 41 am i clear so he is making a profit here he is making a profit here because 41 is assumed to be 100 when he is selling it right so the customer is getting 41 when the seller claims to sell 100 and the price of 100 let's say if it is 100 the mark price is 123 and that is also same as the selling price so that means the 41 thing is basically being sold at 123 am i clear i guess so you understood like the thing is basically the customer the seller claims he is selling 100 rupees product but it is basically actually the product of 41 because 59% he cheated. Now the selling price of this 100 is 123. So in basically in 41, he's making a selling price of 123. So what is his profit? His profit is 123. His profit is 123 minus 41. That is his profit. What is his profit percentage upon 41 into 100? So he make a 200% profit. This is like the basic way to solve this type of question, right? Now the next thing what we are doing, we will do an advanced way of solving this question also. This is how we do, this is like the basic method of solving question, but this is not what we are going to do. What we are going to do, like let me show you. Think about it in this way, let's see about 100, when the cost price and mark price, so 100 is the cost price, the selling price is 123, so write in like this way, 100, 123. When he is cheating, he is basically selling 100 instead of his selling 100 minus 59 that is 41 so he's basically selling 41 as it is 100 right so then this two ways is making profit one is with the price 100 to 123 one is with the weight so he's basically selling 41 in 100 right now just do one thing this 100 100 gets cancelled out this 41 and 123 gets cancelled out so it becomes 3 and this is 1 so that means this 1 becomes 3 when 1 becomes 3 what is your profit percentage 3 minus 1 upon 1 into 100 which is nothing but 200%. So that's how you can solve this question. In the left side, what he is basically procuring. In the right side, what is basically selling. So in this way, you can solve this type of question. I hope I have made you understood. In the next question, we also do solve in this only this method. So please understand what I have done. In the left side, what is his cost price? 100. Right side, his selling price 123. Left side, he's selling 41. And in the perception of 100 because he claims he is selling 100 but it is actually 41 so 41 is basically being sold at 100 so left side is the cost price right side is the selling price and then cross it out or like this is the denominator this is the numerator and this is the denominator so just cancel it out like this way and you can get your answer directly so let's go for the next question a dishonest dealer marks up the price of the goods by 80 percent and then gives a discount of 25 percent so i'll use now the same method so 100 is there and what is his mark uh, like groups by markup is 80 percent so it is 180 so left hand side the cost price this is the mark price and then gives a discount of 25 percent now 25 percent is basically 100 is sold at 75 perfect next is uh, besides he gets 20 percent more amount per kg from his wholesaler that means he is 100 he is basically getting 120 and after that he is hold and sells 10 percent less per kg to his customer that means 90 is basically being sold at 100 right so this is all exactly. First is this 80% more the mark price discount. That is, is getting more. This is, is getting uh, selling less. So now this is your numerator. This is your denominator. This is your numerator. Now just cancel out all of these things. So you'll get 90, 180 cancel. 2 is go getting. So this 100, 100 gets cancelled out. Perfect. Now next is uh, this uh, 0. This 0 gets cancelled out. And this 2 and this 10 is cancelled out. This is 5. So 5 and 70 it's 15. So this is 15 into 12, so this is 100 and this is 180. 
So if it is 100, this is 180. So what is your profit percentage? 80% overall profit. So he's making an 80% profit and see how simple it is. I'm just using these numbers and get this question done. Or else also you can solve this question by getting 10. Like this case, I'm getting 100 as base. I can solve it by 10 as base also. So 10, if it is the cost price, the mark price is 18. And if uh, let's say 10 is like the price, mark price, then the selling price has to be 7.5 because 25% discount. Again, 10 if he's buying, he's basically buying 12. While selling 9, he's basically selling 10. In case of 10, he's selling 9. So if you do this thing also, you'll get the same answer. 100 becomes 180. So it is 80% profit. So this is the smartest way to solve this type of question. And remember, this is how you can solve these questions very fast. Let's go for the next. Dishonest dealer marks up the price of the goods by 25% and then gives a discount of 10%. But he also cheats both his suppliers and buyers by 200 gram instead of a kg. Find his overall profit percentage. Again, I will solve it in the same way. A dishonest dealer marks up the price of the goods by 25%. That means 100 becomes 125, right? And then gives a discount of 10%. Then 100 becomes 90, right? Next. He cheats both his supply and buyer by 200 gram. That means 100 is basically, or 1000 is basically selling at 1200 or 100 is basically 120. Or you can write 1000 is basically he's selling at 1200. So while he's buying 1000 grams, he's basically buying 1200 grams. And he's also cheating, he cheat the buyer also. That means he's selling 800 gram as 1000 gram. Now the question is, what is his overall profit percentage. So how we find the overall profit percentage? First, to just cancel out these two things. Then double zero, double zero gets canceled out. Perfect. Next is uh, the remaining, uh, this zero and this zero. I'll just let it uh, go, this zero and this zero. So this is five twos are 10. This is 525 is 125. So next is two, eight is a 16 is there. Uh, perfect. So eight is four twos are eight, four threes are 12. And so this is uh, 25. So this is basically 400. And this is basically 25 into 9 into 3. So what is 25 into 9 into 3? Uh, this is nothing but 25 into 9 is 225. 225 into 3 is 675. Assuming my calculations are correct. So this is 675. So 675. So 400 becoming 675. So what is the profit percentage? That is 675 minus 400 upon 400 so it is 275 upon 400 so what percentage it is so into 100 so this 00, zero cancelled out so 4 this is 6 uh, 60 that is 75 so that is 7 is 280 so that is 68.75 assuming my calculations are correct so the profit percentage is nothing but 68.75 percent now see it's a very difficult question while you are doing just by being basic calculation but if you do it like this way you can do it very fast and this is the best method to solve this question so please try these questions by using this method only then only you can save a lot of time but just you need to understand what to put where here i'm putting 100 i'm selling it 125 again i'm using like giving discount so 100 is basically being sold at 90. now while buying i am getting 1200 in case of 1000 so 1000 is sold at 1200 while selling i'm selling 800 in terms of 1000 like 800 i'm selling but i'm basically selling it at the price of 1000 so the left hand side is basically your costing your acquiring price and the right hand side is basically your selling or your giving away price am i clear i hope you understood this thing also let's go for the next one the next one is by using a false scale a trader is able to deceive both procurement and disposal he uses a false 125 meter scale for procuring and 80 meter scale for disposal find his gain percentage so in this case what you can do it's very simple so you can directly use this method also so procurement and disposal he uses both case the different scale so while procuring he is basically using 100 meter scale in case of 125 so while he's basically trying to buy 100 but he's actually buying 125 and while selling he sells 80 meter as 100 right so this is basically 100 100 gets cancelled out so it is nothing but 80 becomes 125 so if 80 becomes 125 so your profit percentage is 45 upon 80 into 100 so what is 45 upon 80 into 100? It is same as 40 upon 80 plus 5 upon 80. So 40 upon 80 is 
and 5 upon 8 is 1 upon 16 so what is 1 upon 16 this is basically 1 upon 16 1 upon 16 is 6.25 so plus 6.25 percent so your answer is 56.25 percent it's that simple so how this thing can be solved this is the way you can solve this type of question this question can be solved by using another method which is known as um, Basically, which is known as uh, the successive. Now, if you use successive to solve this question, how you can solve, I'll let you know. So, first think about 80 goes to 100, right? If 80 goes to 100, what is the profit percentage? And if 100 goes to 125. So, in this case, the profit percent is 25%. In this case, the profit percent is also 25%. Why 25% in this case also? Because your cost price is 80, your selling price is 100. So, your profit is 20 upon 80 into 100 which is nothing but 25 right so your this person is 25 percent so in both cases he's making a profit of 25 percent and what is the successive formula m plus n plus mn upon 100 so which is 25 plus 25 plus 25 into 25 upon 100 and hence your answer is 56.25 percent so in this way also you can solve this question but i always try to solve this question in the first method because that is the easier that is a singular method and that's how you should solve and this is how we do questions based on dishonest seller. So I hope you have understood how we generally cater questions which is based on dishonest seller. This is all about dishonest seller. And I hope you have understood dishonest seller pretty well. So please do solve these type of questions at your home. And please do more questions based on percentage profit loss mix. Because in CAT we generally see questions which are basically from a couple of chapters and all. And in the next class we will start with SICI. Then we will go for mixture allegation average then time and work then time speed distance this is all about our arithmetic sequencing so i'll see you in the next class and for the time uh, keep practicing keep solving and get motivated bye bye thank you take care